Jeremiah said, the Lord has let me down. He said, because God, I've been doing the best I could. I've been trying to obey you in every arena. He said, but you haven't even rewarded me for my obedience. Uh, you, you've been there, haven't you? You've been there where you've been faithful. You've been done everything that you've been required to do and look like nobody recognizes. it. Look like even God is quiet on you. Look like God is not even giving attention to what you're doing. God, you let me down. And I'm struggling with this. I've got to struggle with this. But I've come to tell you that God, the answer is, God is saying to us today, no, I have not let you down, but you have let me down. Uh, there's a story that is given about a, a, a battleship. A battleship, a battleship was a, uh, coming to, on the sea, and the battleship sent a message that says, uh, 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 on a collision course, you need to move north 15 degrees. And, and a reply came back and says, you need collision course. You need to move south 15 degrees. Uh, the, the captain of the, of the battleship, he got irate, he got really irritated, and he decided to really usurp and flex his muscles. He says, you need to move north 15 degrees. This is a battleship. But the reply came back, you need to move south 15 degrees. This is the lighthouse. Well, what he's simply saying is I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I am where I'm supposed to be. And that's what God is saying to us today. He says, I am still God. I've not moved. I am who I am. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You need to move 15 degrees. So I've come to tell you your struggles. There's good news for it. Uh, yeah, God, God has not let us down. God has not deserted us. Uh, the text that I've read, and I'm going to move close to a closing, the text that I've read to you today, uh, this text has to do with Jubilee. It really has to do with something that Israel really never observed. God had put in place a function of feast Jubilee. It's seven, seven Sabbath Sabbaths. After seven Sabbaths, there was to be a celebration, seven Sabbath years, there was to be a celebration called Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, 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 every seventh year was to be a Sabbath year where uh, Israel was to rest. Uh, the, the, the servants were to rest, the ground was to rest every seventh year. But every seventh Sabbath, there was to be a year of Jubilee. Now, this was a time that God was trying to say to Israel, I want you to trust me. I, I want you to really put your trust in me. He says, now, on the Sabbath year, uh, uh, I'm going to bless you the sixth year that you'll have enough for three years. And if you can trust me and if you can believe that I am the God of the land and that you are my people and that I'll take care of you. He said, now, on the seventh year, uh, I, I want you to let the ground rest. But in the Jubilee year, I want you not only to let the ground rest, he said, but I want you to return the ground back to its original owner. Now, Jubilee has been designed for four things. First of all, it's for a design for repentance. Because he said to them, says, now, this cannot happen unless you bring atonement. You come to atonement. You've got to offer up sacrifice. You've got to get yourself right with me if you want to believe. If, if you really want me to really put things back in right perspective, if you really want me to put things right like they ought to be, he said, you've got to trust me, but you've got to also make things right with me. I've come to tell us today that we'll never get what God has until we get right with God. Uh, uh, he's a holy God and he wants a holy people. He says, I'm God and I want you to be like me. I, I, I did tell you my name was Jewel Withers Jr. And I'm, I, 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 my dad and my mama, they're black. My dad and my mama are black. I have no problem being like my dad and my mama because my dad and my mama's black. I don't work up, wake up in the morning working on being like this. I'm like this because that's the way my dad and my mama. And God says, I'm holy. And I need you to be holy. And so he said, Jubilee is for, he, for a time of repentance. And then he turned around and said, Jubilee is to be a time of release. He said, I want you to release all the servants, all the slaves that you have, and let them go back home to their families. God really want our families to be right in right perspective. Some of you are struggling with your family, struggling with situations, struggling with June Bug and Sally Sue. But God says that if you, 
you, if you do what I say do, I, I, I've got good news for you. I've got good news for you. Not only should it be for release, he said, but it should be for a time of rest. It's a time of rest where servants rest. It's a time for rest where the ground rests. It's a time of rest. And then he said, it's a time uh, of restoration. I'm going to restore. I want to restore all the properties back to the original owners. In other words, I'm putting things back right where the rich won't just keep on getting richer, uh, where the disadvantaged won't keep stay at a disadvantage. But I want everything to revert back and give you a new beginning. I, I'm getting ready to go to my seat just shortly. And so the, uh, when they had not observed Jubilee, one day there was a person named Jesus that stepped out on the universe. Uh, he shows up at John's baptism, the baptism that he did in the River Jordan. Uh, he showed up at baptism, and he said, John, I want to be baptized, for it behooves us to fulfill all righteousness. Well, John baptized Jesus, and when he baptized Jesus, the Holy Ghost led him into the wilderness. It was in the wilderness that Jesus confronted the devil in every point that Adam had failed. It was in the wilderness that Jesus had to deal with provision. He said, if these uh, turn these stones to bread, it was in the wilderness that the devil tempted the Lord in the area of power. And you know, some of us can't deal with power. He says, now, if you, if you bow down, he says, all this power I'll give to you. But he said, the Lord is the only one you should worship. And then he also uh, dealt with the enemy on protection. You've got to believe that God will take care of you. You don't have to show off. You don't have to do stuff. St strange and funny stuff uh, the Lord will uh, take care of you uh, and so when Jesus stepped out uh, it was after the baptism it was after the trying in the wilderness it was after that that he went to the synagogue uh, and began to preach uh, and one day he decided I got to go to Nazareth uh, you know Nazareth don't you it's a no fame city. You know Nazareth, don't you? It's the place where he grew up. You know Nazareth, don't you? It was where his mom and daddy came from. You know Nazareth, don't you? This one that didn't have confidence in him, he went back home. And when he went home, he did what he always did. He, he went to church. And you know, that was his custom, you know. He went to church. He went to church. They knew he would be at church. And I need to tell you that you ought to have something that everybody can count on you doing. It ought to be your custom that you go to church, that you go to prayer meeting, that you go to Bible band, that you go to... Uh, 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 he went He went to the synagogue, and, and that day that he went to the synagogue, I'm getting ready to close, I told y'all. He, he went to the synagogue, and when he went to the synagogue, the, 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 the law had been read, and the, now it's time for the prophets. And Jesus is a visiting priest here, and they bring the scroll to him. And it's the scroll of Isaiah. And Isaiah 61 is where he found it, and Isaiah 61 pointed back to Jubilee. Uh, it was looking forward to a coming redeemer. It was looking forward to a coming savior. And Jesus pulled out the scroll and, and he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And, and I want you to know that what he said to them that day is that God has certified me. Uh, God has authenticated me. Uh, I'm not just some Johnny come late lately. Uh, I'm not some fly by night. I'm not just some charlatan, but the Lord Lord, uh, the Spirit of the Lord uh, is upon me. Uh, you know when the Spirit of the Lord comes. Uh, you know when the Spirit of the Lord moves. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord uh, moved upon the face of the earth. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord moved upon Samson. Uh, and now the Spirit of God uh, is moving on Jesus. Uh, and he says, he hath anointed me. Uh, I like that word anointing. Uh, we have abused the anointing. Uh, we have bu abused the word. Uh, 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 he says, uh, uh, he's on me and anointed me. Uh, in, in other words, I have been validated and certified, uh, but I've also been prepared uh, for what I'm doing. Uh, David had 
three anointings. Uh, the first anointing, Samuel came to his house, uh, poured the oil on him. Uh, after that anointing, he slew a, a giant. Uh, after that anointing, he slew a bear and a lion. Uh, but, but later on, he was anointed uh, over Judah. That's the place of praise. Uh, he was anointed over Judah to be king over Judah. Some of us have mastered praise. Uh, some of us have mastered uh, that anointing. Uh, but that's another anointing, uh, the highest anointing. Uh, it's a spearing on anointing. It's a rubbing in anointing. It's a saturating anointing. Uh, and Jesus said, uh, that anointing is on me. Uh, and that anointing is uh, 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 an anointing where you rule over everything. Uh, he was ruling over everything. He said, that anointing is on me. Uh, the Lord has anointed me uh, to come and preach uh, good news. Uh, I've got good news uh, for the poor. I've got good news uh, for those that are blind. I've got good news uh, for those that are in captivity. I've got good news uh, for those that are oppressed. Uh, the Spirit of God uh, has come uh, to let you know uh, that your struggle uh, is over. Your struggle uh, is over. I've got good news. Uh, the blind shall see. Uh, I've got good news. Uh, the oppressed shall be free. Uh, you have shattered dreams. Uh, you have broken visions. Uh, but good news. Uh, God has not forgotten you good news I've got good news and here's the good news for your struggles it is over the good news is God knows who you are God has an expected end God he knows what you're dealing with he knows your struggles and here's the good news God has never seen a disease he could not heal. Good news. God has never seen a person he does not love. Good news. God has never seen a problem he could not solve. Good news. God has never seen a sinner he could not save. Good news. God has never seen a substitute for the blood of Jesus. I come to tell you, your struggle is over. I come to tell you, Jubilee has come. I come to tell you, the blood still works. The blood still works. He frees. He saves. And the Bible said when Jesus read the text, he closed the book and sat down. three people and tell them I've got good news I've got good news I've got good news yeah. hallelujah 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 would you just touch your name and say be healed be delivered be set free hallelujah hallelujah thank God for that rich 